So, we are here for NXT, episode number 5. Now, on this episode, we've got three quite big matches. So, the first match, we have got Zack Sabre Jr. versus Jack Gallagher. Gallagher? Gallagher? However you want to say it, I say Gallagher. Um, yeah, they will be facing each other for a number one contender spot for Jinder Mahal's IC title. So, whoops. Next up, we have got Kenny Omega and Cody Rhodes taking on Enzo Amore and Big Cass after Kenny and Cody attacked Big Cass. And as a punishment for that, Cody Rhodes has to do double duty, obviously having his qualifying match later in the night. Right, here we go. Two Brits coming up against each other. Two technical wrestlers. Two of the best. Gallagher. Oh, nice flapjack there by Gallagher. Now, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Gallagher. I don't know if it's the American way of saying it, Gallagher. But, yeah. I mean, in both Sabre Jr.'s matches, he has not started off too well. If we remember his match against Jinder on the first episode, Jinder, Jinder actually made him tap, which really didn't expect. Off the middle rope, Sabre Jr. reverses, punch to the spine, but again, Gallagher goes to the neckbreaker, pushed off by Jr., picks him up, oh, onto the knee, gut buster. Come on then, Gallagher. Do something, mate. Taking off the ring post. Oh, sorry, the um, turnbuckle pad. Not the ring post. Lopez Press. Look at these shots. But yeah, the ring... The, the turnbuckle pad has been taken off. So you run into that metal steel to the face. It's definitely going to uh, cut you open. Good by the ref there to protect that corner. Not allowing the super... Superstars to throw each other into that, which is good as we train our refs to protect the uh, superstars as well as officiate the match. But here we go, come on. Sabre Jr., Irish whip off the ropes. Big boot to the face. Takes down Gallagher. Could have put him onto one knee. Big kick to the chest. And a nice European uppercut. Flips over and again a big kick to the spine. Stomps on the stomach or the gut, whatever you want to call it. But Gallagher is uh, he's going that Oh! Big boot to the face and again he picks him up. And what's he got this time? Gallagher reverses. Punch to the gut. Nice little clothesline into the corner. And he's going for a... Are you? Nice powerbomb there. Hardest part of the uh, ring in the corner there. Goes to the cover after that. One. Two. Just a two count there. Sabre Jr. can kick out. Gallagher's taunting him. Waiting for him to get a punch to the face. Into a nice little... S oh, reversed. Punch to the gut. Looks like he was going for a suplex there. But Sabre Jr. did reverse. What's this? Oh! Again into the corner. Going to drag to the centre of the ring for the cover. One. Not even a two count there. Going to need much, much more to put him away. But going back to the spine with that big, big kick. And a oh, big shot to the gut as he was trying to pick himself up. Nice knee to the gut there. Takes down Sabre Jr. Gallagher now taunting the crowd. Getting them angry. Big elbow to the face. Got to use the corner to hold him up. I mean, Going for a big kick, reversed. Clothesline takes down Sabre Jr. We still haven't seen that corner be uh, put into play here, but Gallagher with a nice suplex there. A lot of power there to pick this man up over your head and back down the other side. Was that a headbutt? This guy is going to pick him up, go for another suplex. Turning into Brock Lesnar here. Oh, spiked DDT. Gonna go for the cover after that move. 
One. Two. Oh, I thought that was a three count, but just in time, Sabre Jr. kicks out. He's going to pick him up. What have we got in store here? Oh, jawbreaker. Sabre Jr. Cross arm breaker, maybe. Here it is. He's got him in the cross arm breaker. He hasn't really done much damage to the arm throughout this match, but the amount of pain going on to Gallagher's arm right now is incredible. Another jawbreaker, this time by Gallagher. Gets him up on the shoulders. Oh! Going for the cover after that one. One, two, three, four! Jack Gallagher is going to take on Jinder Mahal at NXT Brooklyn for the IC title. Here we go, Cody Rhodes and Kenny Omega taking on Enzo and Cass. But what what is Cody Rhodes doing? He seems to be leaving the building, leaving the arena. Right, 10 count now, and it looks like Enzo and Cass have won this match. Very, very smart manoeuvre there by the Bullet Club. Cody Rhodes has obviously got a match up next. Wants to save himself for that. And uh, Enzo and Cass pick up the victory. Let's see Cody Rhodes' match next. That brilliant, brilliant tactic there by, by Kenny and Cody. Cody obviously has got a match later tonight. So what he did, he jumped down from the ropes. Kenny exited the ring. And they just let Enzo and Warren Big Cass win by count out. Probably the smartest thing they've done. So... They've got their match up next. Cody Rhodes taking on Tommy End or Alistair Black. Right, here we go. Main event of the evening. We have got Cody Rhodes, the American Nightmare, member of the Bullet Club, taking on the uh, newly signed Alistair Black or Tommy End or whatever you want to call him. There we go. Match is underway. Collar and elbow tie up. Cody Rhodes uses his strength to push him into the corner. And the rest gonna have to break him up here. And oh! Cody Rhodes with a cheap shot there to the jaw. Really. Uh, ref shouldn't be allowing that, really. But into the corner. Rolls him down. I'm gonna go to the top rope. What's he got in store? Oh, moonsault! That is vintage Cody Rhodes there. Always been a. Uh, Maneuver in his books, I don't know. Yeah, classic Cody Rhodes. I love a good Cody Rhodes moonsault. But goes for the submission there. Tommy End breaks out. I, I, I'm going to call him Tommy End if that's okay. Uh, stomps on the elbow there. Going to pick him up. Cody Rhodes reverses. Nice shoulder tackle takedown. As he sits up, puts Tommy End onto one knee. Looking to go for a DDT, but Tommy End with a knee to the gut. And he's going for a Oh, the strength there. And a stomp to the head. What's he got? He's stop. Oh, multiple stomps to the chest of Cody Rhodes. Jesus Christ. Absolutely savage. And again, more stomps to the chest. And a big boot. Right to the chest. He's going up high now. What's he got in store? Waiting for Cody to Rhodes to get up. Just. And he's going for it. Oh! There's some kind of ninja kick from the top rope there. Something we'd see from Rob Van Dam, maybe. Again, big kick to the elbow. Going for a cover after that. One. You're not going to put away someone with such ex so much experience as Cody Rhodes. Tries to get him in the armbar. Reverses it. Big forearm to the face. Now. Off the ropes, Irish whip, big knee to the gut, take down. Cody Rhodes going to the outside, going for a springboard maybe. Taunting him, telling him to get up. When he gets up, oh! Nice springboard drop kick there. To Alison Black, takes him down, goes for the kick to the spine, reverses it, grabs him by the hair. And a big European uppercut to the back of the head, takes him down. Going for the cover after that one. One. Again, just a one count. 
drop kick to the back. He's been targeting the back and the chest of Cody Rhodes. Definitely going to maybe look to use a submission hold or something like that. Maybe an, a camel clutch. That will definitely affect his back and chest area. But here we go. Tommy Ender's been in control for this match, you could say. But what's he got in store here? Going to go shoulder first into the ring post. And then gain more stomps to the chest. It's just absolutely savagely beating him down. Again, going for the cover. One. Two. He's got a two count this time, so he's slowly, slowly working away at Cody Rhodes. Again, another big, big kick to the spinal cord. Going for a suplex now. Nice. Oh, no, a brain duster. Into the cover. One. Two. Again, a two count. Cody Rhodes is getting lucky to kick out of these, though. He's going to start getting closer and closer to that three count. Unless he can get back into this match. But he swipes the legs of Tommy End. Goes into the corner. Maybe he's regained some breath. Just get back into control. Tommy End's on one knee. Rolls out of the way. Into a knee though. Straight into a knee. And what's he got in store here? Big punch to the gut though by Tommy End to get out of this hold. Big spinning back fist. And... Oh, in the corner. That's where all the metal joins to hold up the mat. Probably the hardest part of the ring. But an Irish whip into the corner. Cody Rhodes. What's he got in store? Big punch to the gut. Going up to the middle rope. And. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What a maneuver. Going to drag him to the center of the ring as far away from the ropes as possible. And. One, two, kick out of two by Tommy End. Both men could be one move away from winning this match. But now Cody Rhodes, the cockiness of Cody Rhodes as he goes up to the top road, top rope. My apologies. Spike DDT. And now he's waiting for him to get up. Tommy End slowly, slowly gets up, but he does not know what's in store. Dark matter. Boom! There it is. One. Two. Kick out a two by Tommy End. That was Cody Rhodes's, one of Cody Rhodes' finishing manoeuvres. And Tommy End just kicked out. Cody's going to the middle rope now though. Telling Tommy End to just get up. But Tommy End, he can't. He is... He all his energy to kick out of that move. And he just cannot get up. Cody Rhodes is waiting. Um, gets down. Okay. That was a bit weird. Looks like he was going for a German there though. But Tommy in with a elbow to the face. Going in for a suplex. Gets him up. Knee to the skull. Now Cody Rhodes is going for a suplex of his own. Maybe not. Oh. Slits the throat, Jesus Christ, like, what a taunt that is. But back into the corner, Tommy N goes. Spins him around. Game, we're going to go for this big manoeuvre. We saw it earlier. Surely, oh, there it is. Cover after this one. No, he gets him up. Scoops on, maybe. Reversed into a German suplex. Tommy in reverses it into a German suplex. And then he's going to go for the cover after that. One. All that work he put into getting to uh, the two count has just gone. Goes for the drop kick. It's reversed by Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes kicks him, punches him. And it all oh, goes for the spinning kick, but his need and big shots. Oh, the speed of these strikes here. Oh, back to the chest with these big, big kicks. Takes down Cody. Fights back though as he looks to pick him up. Big punch to the gut. Spins the arm. Slaps to the back of the head. Pushes him away. But he's tired. He's down on one knee. Oh, and huge knee to the skull. Oh my god. 
drags him and he's going for a big kick to the gut but that knee to the skull from Tommy End looked vicious he's going to spin him around now big stomp to the gut maybe yeah the gut and chest and spine of Cody Rose has been the uh, main target for Tommy End in this match but he's going up high now what's he got in store No way. The coup de grace. Tommy End just hit the coup de grace on Cody Rhodes. One, two, three. Tommy End has defeated Cody Rhodes. That tactic they did in the last match was absolutely pointless. But now Cody Rhodes has picked up two losses in one night. And Tommy End moves through to the next round. Where he will face either... Either Finn Balor or Roderick Strong. Who will it be? We'll have to find out next week. I will see you then.